Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 173. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 168 to 174. Hey, Trick 173, we have an exciting topic here. We're going to see, amongst uh, other things, how to show negative time. Now, here's the setup. We have some times out and time ins for people worked. And here's the required time. And what our goal is to show zero when they got it right on or when there's uh, no time entered. Minus one when they worked under because 1230 minus 930 is three hours. So we want a negative one. If they worked one hour over from 1 to 8, 1, 1 p.m. minus 8 a.m., that should give us plus one. So the tricky part is going to be the minus time. All right, let's start off just by doing a basic formula, and then we'll run into some trouble and try and figure out how to get out of that trouble. Let's just do a basic formula. Equals time out minus time in. Now, from other videos, we know that that's how you calculate the difference between time, later time minus early time. But we need to figure out plus or minus according to this four hours required time. So we'll minus this. And that's just a, a time typed in 4 colon 0, 0. I'm going to hit F4 key twice to put the dollar sign in front of the row reference. Control Enter, and then copy it down. Now we run into a couple uh, problems here. One is negative time. Uh, our time shows up, negative time shows up as this pound sign. When you're using the um, uh, standard uh, date system that Excel has by default. Now, um, we also want a 0 here. So let's try and solve. Before we get to the negative time, let's just see if we can uh, solve the 0 problem here and here, because we really want a 0 here and here. I'm going to highlight this first uh, cell and hit F2. And now, what's the condition to have a 0 here or here? If this is blank, or this is blank, or uh, this minus this equals that. So there's actually three different con conditions when we actually want a 0 in the cell. So I'm going to amend this using an if equals if. And then I'm going to use the or for the true false. For the true false part of the, uh, I'm sorry, the logical test of the if, we have three different logical tests. And any one of them that come out true, we want uh, the if to see a uh, true and then dump a 0 in the cell. So we'll use the OR function. We'll say if this equals, and then double quote, that means blank. That's the first possible test. Or this equals double quote, that means blank, comma. Or this cell minus this cell, those are relative cell references, so when we copy it down, it works, equals this. Now this needs to be locked, so I'm going to hit the F4 twice, and then type a uh, close parenthesis. So that's the or right here. There's three different, one, two, three different uh, possible logical tests. Any one of them come out true, the or says true. Comma, if any of those come out true, we want a 0 in the cell. And you can see down here, what, by putting a comma, we got to the next argument, value if true. Comma, we get to the next uh, value if false. Well, it's already there, so I very carefully click at the end. It's probably safer to go up here and close parentheses. Now, I'm going to Control Enter, and then I'm going to click and drag this down. I'm not double clicking here, because if I double click it, uh, we'll replace that uh, sum function there. So um, well, that didn't work either. Ah, let's go look at custom number format, custom number format. I'm going to Control 1. I'm going to come down to custom. It's a problem. It could be anywhere. But we'll click on custom. If it's on any one of these, just click on custom. And what we want is a plus when it shows uh, um, a positive amount. So I'm going to type a plus here. Now, custom number formatting, if you put a semicolon, that means the first before the first semicolon, that's what to show if positive. Let's do a minus and do that same thing, hour, colon, minute, minute, semicolon. Before the second semicolon, but after the 
first semicolon. That means sh tell me what to uh, how to format this when it's negative. And finally, then we'll put a zero out here. That's what to show if it's zero. So positive, negative, zero. Let's click OK. Well, that solves two of our problems. It gets our zero there and there, and our plus one there. The only final thing is, what in the world do we do about negative time? Well, there are a few different things, and one excellent time that does no harm is just to change it to the 1904 date system. The way you do that is you go to in 2003 you go to tools and then options in 2007 you got to go to the orb. I click on the orb and then Excel options and then we need to go to advanced in uh, 2003 we you go to the calculations tab. We go, but here in 2007 we go to advance and then scroll all the way down, and it should be 1904. Use 1904. See if we check this, then, uh, and I'll show you an example in just a moment of what this really means compared to the the default. But uh, January 1st, 1904 is zero in the default system. Um, one, zero is no one is January 1st, 1900. I'm going to click OK way down here at the bottom. Click OK. And sure enough, that all allows to show negative time. That's pretty cool, the 1904. Now, um, so there it is. And watch this. If we change the required time to 5 colon 0, 0, then this person was under by one hour because they worked four. This person was under by two. This person was under by uh, an hour and a half. This person was exactly right on. They worked five hours. So that's really cool to be able to set up a little timesheet like that. Now, uh, I typed these dates in already, but if in this system, this is uh, 19, 1904, if you type 11 1900, it's text. In the old system, that'd be the number one. 12 31 1903, that's the day before it switches, that's still text. But watch this. If you type in this number, it's zero, this number, it's zero. Let's just try it over here. 1 slash 1 slash 1904. Control Enter and then copy it down one. Now, uh, watch this. If I highlight both of these and go to Control 1 and then General, we'll see what the serial number underneath is 0 and 1. I'm going to Control Z. You know, there's a keyboard shortcut for general format. It's Control Shift tilde, and tilde is to the left of the number one. If you do a lot of date and time math calculations, you gotta know that keyboard shortcut. Control Shift tilde. All right, so that's the 1904 negative time in a cool little uh, custom time sheet with uh, custom number formatting and everything. All right, we'll see you next trick.